We found out before Liam was born that he had a congenital diaphragmatic hernia. It's a long phrase that just means there's a hole in the muscle in between your abdomen and your chest. Patching up holes is not that hard. The hard part about a congenital diaphragmatic hernia though is all of the harm that is done until we can fix it. Because when there's a hole between your abdomen and your chest, the intestines go up into the chest during critical stages of lung development, of heart development. It can make babies really, really sick. We were just devastated. We never heard of that. We never knew anyone with that condition before. They were honest and upfront with us the entire time. They walked us through everything. They sat down with us. Well, they assigned us a person that showed us tours and brought us to meetings. My role typically with the family is being a touch point throughout the pregnancy, being there and available to answer questions, trying to coordinate appointments on the same days as much as possible. Meeting with the mother, the OB evaluations, the ultrasounds, the MRI, that allows us to kind of know the baby by the moment the baby is born. There are a lot of babies with diaphragmatic hernias that don't survive, but there are a lot that have tough courses. But what you want to know is you're going to have a team fighting for your baby. Every single doctor that we talked to said, you either go on my chart or here's my card, here's my email. I will get back to you within 24 hours. They pretty much held him up and let us both see him right as he was born. And then they had to take him to get his IVs and everything set and get him stabilized. These babies, they'll put little headphones on um, to kind of block out some of the noise. Babies with congenital diaphragmatic hernia, they don't really like to be touched a lot. It was so hard to just see him laying there and, you know, he'd get upset every now and then and not be able to, to do anything. The first few days are really best letting a baby relax, letting them get through all the transition of being outside in the world. And only when things are settled down and it's safe to proceed with surgery do we go ahead and plan surgery. I trusted Dr. Rice, I trusted the team. They had been honest, upfront, and open with us from the beginning. But still, at that point, you're so nervous. Depending on what the type of hole is, we'll either close it primarily, meaning we don't need any extra material, we just need to bring the edges together, or we need to reconstruct the diaphragm with a patch of some type. And in the process of doing that, we return all the abdominal contents back into the abdomen so that the lungs get a chance to expand, get a chance to recover, and can grow in a normal fashion. Some babies are able to go home in a short period of time. Some babies require to be in the hospital for a few months. It's amazing, you know, having a diagnosis where it's a possibility that he could never come home, to having him home is amazing. I don't know, he's just, it's amazing to have this little person. I can't wait to see him grow up and what he'll, become. Most babies with diaphragmatic hernia that get through the newborn period have relatively normal lives. They run around with other kids, they play sports with other kids, they eat like other children. A diaphragmatic hernia is a tough diagnosis. There's always hope.